Pipe Creek is an unincorporated community just east of Bandera, Texas in Bandera County. It was founded in 1870. It was named after the nearby Pipe Creek. This thriving community boasts many small businesses and some fabulous eats. It's a beautiful area and certainly worth your drive across Texas. So turn off your GPS, take it slow, and enjoy a cruise to the fabulous Texas Hill Country. Hey folks, welcome back to Drive Across Texas. I'm your host, Pat Waters. We're in Pipe Creek, Texas at Brighter Days Horse Refuge Incorporated with Miss Kimberly Cody. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Thank you so much for having us out. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. You bet. So Kimberly, you got a very, very cool place here. So tell us about uh, Brighter Days. Brighter Days was started by uh, our founder, Jeannie Weatherholtz. She um, started it in Bernie. We were there seven years. She always had a love for horses. Um, her husband, as a matter of fact, she would not marry him because he met her in England. She would not marry him until he promised to get her a horse and that's how we all started. Well, how long y'all been in business? We're going on 31 years. Wow. How long you been in working here? I've been here six years. You love it? It's not a job to me. That's great. That's great. I was telling y'all fair a while ago and I think people on the show has heard it before. My granddad always preached to me find something that you love and you're passionate about and you'll never never work a day in your life. Absolutely. That's kind of what you found here, yes. isn't it? Yes. So tell everybody, tell the viewers the process uh, how you get a horse in your uh, refuge here. Well, let's say this bay right here, mm -hmm. for instance, her name is Lily. A uh, lady br drove in one day and said, I can't afford to take care of her anymore. And she signed her over to us and it happens like that or through neglect, they're seized by the authorities and then they call us in and we take them and get them back to health and if they're rideable we like to have them adopted back out but we make sure it's a good place because I've already been through so much mm -hmm. but if they're not rideable they live their life out here because nobody wants a horse you can't ride because they're very expensive to take care of. That's exactly right. Uh, they're expensive either way yes but very expensive yes. you're not getting you know if it's not a working horse or a roving horse or something like that. Uh, so it's like if you have a child you have to really contemplate it before you do it because it's a lifelong commitment. That's exactly right, that's exactly right. So, I noticed that you also help people out in town. You got some goats here and some pigs here and I, the, the story was a lady's moving and she wanted to move them from the place she was moving mm -hmm. till like April and I was yeah. gonna help her out. Yeah. That's cool that you reach out to the local community also. One of my questions, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I know it's a non-profit organization, how do you get any kind of funding? Is it just sponsorships? Do y'all do fundraisers or you get grants? We're allowed to fundraisers a year. We apply for grants, but we basically rely on the public donations. That's our bread and butter. Does the local people here help y'all a lot? They do, a lot. Yeah. People probably buy you feed. They do if they, uh, we get a lot of people that um, put us in their will. Mm -hmm. So if they want to, whatever they have left of their estate, apply it to the feed bill because our feed bill is six to seven hundred dollars a week that's just wow. for the grain yeah that didn't include hay that's expensive that's yeah. expensive i'm telling you what y'all are doing here is, is is wonderful i'm a i'm a huge animal lover and uh we also are partners with a company called or a show called usa critters and, and we'll definitely send this copy of it to them also they'll be, uh, be ecstatic great. about That'd it but great. we appreciate y'all's hospitality and thank you for letting us kind of bombard you during feed absolutely. time absolutely thanks for coming you bet folks if you're ever in pipe creek texas man stop by you know if you got a little extra jingle in your pocket help them out it's going for a great cause y'all remember now that baby's coming from a texan adios Drive across texas